So here's a quick video on how to change the manifest files on different mods. And the reason you want to change that is that the mod possibly then says that it's incompatible with the current version of the game. It says incompatible. And if it does, hopefully you can change it. Uh, if we double click on one of these files and I have associated all SCS files with 7-zip for this. So make sure that uh, SES files are opened with 7-zip when you double click on it. We have the Promzona 4 here. And the first thing we're going to take a look at is this manifest file. Now this one says data error. We can't open it. This happens with a lot of mods and files in those mods. You can't open them. So we need to wait for an updated version of it if we need one. Let's have a look at MAPA EAA, and as you can see, it says cannot open file uh, as archive. Uh, it is encrypted. Uh, we can't do anything about this kind of files either. But in most cases, you can open the files and make changes to them without any problems. Like with this one here, the EAA 5.1 Pro Mods 241 Fix version 1.15, which has a manifest file that says that it is made specifically for 135 and this line here is the reason we can't use the um, EAA Pro Mods fix on 136. Now there are two ways you can fix this. You can either just remove this line like that and save or as I prefer to do change 1.35 to 1.36 and if you then press the X here to close the file you're prompted to save the changes and then you are prompted to update the archive the file manifest.sii was modified you want to update it in the archive okay and it is updated in the archive as you can see it now says 136 and that is all it takes to make in this case EA 5.1 Pro Mods 241 Fix version 0 0.15 compatible with 136. This goes for just about any mod you want to use as long as you are able to open and modify the SCS file. Again, files like from Sona, they are password protected. You can't even open it. There's nothing you can do there. But in most cases, you're not only able to open it, you're able to make changes to it, save the changes. So there you have the, uh, there you have it. That's how you change the compatibility versions of a mod.